All right guys, project of the day. We're making this small little crosscut sled for your bandsaw. It's a perfect addition to any shop and it's great for cutting dowel stock or loose tenons to length. With this stop block, it's really great because you get repeatable and consistent results time and time again. Stick around, we'll show you how to make it. So the details on this little crosscut sled, it's 13 inches square, which with the stop system will allow you to make cuts up to about 11 inches long. The base is built from half inch thick Baltic birch plywood, whereas the fence needs to be three quarter inch plywood. On the back side, there's a runner that will ride in the slot of your bandsaw table. So we'll drop our laminate in place and adhere that to the plywood base. And what you need to do is add a little pressure from a roller. You can either use a J roller specifically for this sort of thing, or you can do like I did and just borrow a little material work stand roller from the wood shop. That works fine too. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use a laminate trimmer you can clean up the edges flush with the plywood, counterclockwise in this case. All right, well that should take care of our laminated base. Gets us off to a good start. Another thing we'll need is a strip of three quarter inch plywood and that'll be sized specifically to the stop system that we'll install later. But first, let's head over to the table saw and install a dado blade. There we'll need to make two different grooves. One heading this way as a little registration spot for that fence, and another one will head the opposite direction that will carry a runner to ride in the slot of your bandsaw. Now that we have those grooves taken care of with the table saw, we can go ahead and glue in the runner on the bottom of the sled. Okay, we'll put a little glue on the sled and attach that fence with screws. And just make sure the fence is square as the glue dries. And then we'll go ahead and mount the track to the sled. So now we need to fix this tape measure to the fence in relation to the jig. And to do that, we've got a known 10 inch block of wood here. And the production stop is set to that dimension. Just slide your tape measure over until the cursor reads at the correct 10 inch mark. And from there, just peel back the adhesive backing and you can go ahead and set that in place.
You want to make sure your blade is tensioned during this step, of course, for the most accurate readings, but just slide your stop block back into position and make sure that it's correct. Any fine tuning can be done with the cursor adjustment. Looks good. We're right on 10 inches. So the sled slides nice and easily along the miter track of the bandsaw, and there's actually two ways that you can use this sled. If you don't want to mess with the top track, you can actually just use it in conjunction with a fence if you have one with a stop block. Slide your material down to the stop block and advance the sled to make the cut. We'll demonstrate that. And then we'll go ahead and show you how to use it in the traditional way with the supplied stops for this track. Now with this method that uses a stop block on the fence, it's really important, you might be tempted just to use the fence itself to register the workpiece as you advance that over. The problem with that would be then you would have the small offcut trap between this, the moving blade and the fence. And so you never want to do that. Instead, you want to have that stop block. If you don't have a T-track in your fence, just simply clamp a stop block to your fence and you'll be able to do this same type of action. Use the stop block to register the piece and then move it forward. Works pretty well that way. If you do go the extra mile and install one of these stop systems, you can quickly and easily set it to your required dimension and go ahead and make the cut that way. Alright guys, there you go. All the steps you need to make a little crosscut sled for your own bandsaw. It's a perfect addition to any shop, and I think you'll get a lot of use out of it, especially for those small parts. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.